the Princess Elettra Marconi, the daughter of Guglielmo Marconi, stopped here at MIT to talk to us a bit about her father and his accomplishments. Her father was a Nobel Prize winner in 1909 for his work on wireless telegraphy. His uh, wish was, since he was very young, to transmit with electric waves. He was always um, making experiments, building um, his equipment with his own hands, trying and trying again. Uh, this is why he is a great example for the young ones, because he had a great willpower. And 21 years old, he succeeded in uh, sending signals across the hill near Bologna. He bought this beautiful yacht that he named Elettra. And when I was born, he called me like his yacht. And on board the yacht Elettra, he made the invention of the radar that he was calling blind navigation. And then the parabolic antenna, that's the beginning of satellite. Neil Armstrong, when we met him, my mother and I said, if it wasn't for your father and for your husband, I would have never gone on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Part of her mission is to inspire young people to go into the sciences, to pursue technology, and to really go after doing something with their lives that will make the world a better place. His love of boating and of the ocean and of sailors really motivated him largely to come up with this method of transmitting messages while you're at sea. My father was invited on board the Titanic, but luckily he, he didn't accept. There was wireless telegraph on that ship. They were able to signal for help. And in the middle of the ocean, a generation before, the people in those lifeboats would have been adrift in the ocean. And no one could have known. No one could know that they were there. Those who lived, lived because of Guglielmo Marconi's invention. His great uh, joy was when he met the survivors in the harbor of New York. He went towards them and they were so thankful, grateful to him. They were embracing him, kissing him. That was the greatest reward.